Hello everyone, welcome to Techie Pocket. Today I'm going to be doing a review of Pyrex Ultra P Series cards. These two cards were sent to me by Pyrex. I reached out to them because they have these capture cards that are really, really, really cheap. And first I just want to start off this video by saying the only difference between this card and this card is that this one only has an HDMI input and this one has an HDMI output to go with that. So depending on which one of these you want, they're both exactly the same specs, only difference is no output, this one has one. So this one is about $80 on Amazon, this one is about $90 on Amazon, though it does go down to $85 on Newegg sometimes. And these are really, really good budget options if you're looking for something that's not as, as, as expensive as Elgato. So with all that said, let's go ahead and begin the review. I got some B-roll going with this one that you guys can watch while I'm talking. So you guys can go ahead and see that now. Okay, so first I inserted it into the PCIe slot while the PC was off. After booting it up into Windows, it will read the devices as multimedia video controllers. Doesn't matter if it's the P1 or P2, that's what it'll read it as. To fix this, you must follow the instructions that it comes with. And they say that you must insert the CD it comes with, navigate to software, and then install using the EXE, which, by the way, like I just mentioned, is in the manual. I got it set up in OBS Studio, and I found that I could not input my camera's output to this card, as it does not support HDCP, which is pretty vital. I don't know if Elgato supports this, but if you're looking for that, you should look further, because this is not the card for that. I also found it does not take uh, two low resolutions. For example, my 1440x900p monitor from like 2005 could not input to this capture card. So I emailed the company and they said it supports the following resolutions. 480p60, 576p50, 720p50, 720p60, 1080i50, 1080i60, 1080p24, 1080p25, 1080p30, 1080p50, and finally, 1080p60. So that answers that question. Now, why not I just show you all how it looks? So here you go. I was streaming my normal stream using this capture card, though by the way, streaming with OBS does blur up things a little bit if you're, uh, internet is not the best, so I recorded it and it looks like this. Now compare that to my previous streams using OBS's screen capture method, which I will also record to prevent blurriness. And you see the difference. This could of course be improved by using something like Bandicam, so you can see the difference between that two right here. Okay, so you all see the difference. But that's not the main reason why you're getting a capture card. You actually get a capture card just to take the capturing off of the CPU and onto the capture card. Otherwise, everyone would get a capture card, and, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, you get what I'm saying. So the answer is this. This card is a great value, it's very good value, and I recommend it to anyone looking for a PCIe capture card. But don't forget to check out this, vi this device in the description below at pyrect.com. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, uh, I don't know, game capturing software, no, not software, PCIe device review, and if you did, leave a like, and if you didn't, hit a dislike, tell me what's wrong below, tell me what's right below, tell me if you're gonna get this card, and otherwise, just subscribe for more content, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.